In ancient Roman religion, an edicula is a small shrine. The word edicula is the diminutive of the Latin aedes, a temple building or house. Many ediculi were household shrines that held small altars or statues of the Lares and Penates. The Lares were Roman deities protecting the house and the family household gods. The Penates were originally patron gods of the storeroom, later becoming household gods guarding the entire house. Other ediculi were small shrines within larger temples, usually set on a base, surmounted by a pediment and surrounded by columns. In Roman architecture the edicula has this representative function in the society. They are installed in public buildings like the Triumphal Arch, City Gate, or Thermes. The Celsus Library in Ephesus is a good example. From the 4th century Christianization of the Roman Empire onwards such shrines, or the framework enclosing them, are often called by the biblical term tabernacle, which becomes extended to any elaborated framework for a niche, window or picture. Gothic Edicule as in classical architecture, in Gothic architecture, too, an edicule or tabernacle frame is a structural framing device that gives importance to its contents, whether an inscribed plaque, a cult object, a bust or the like, by assuming the tectonic vocabulary of a little building that sets it apart from the wall against which it is placed. A tabernacle frame on a wall serves similar hieratic functions as a freestanding three-dimensional architectural baldachin or a ciborium over an altar. In late Gothic settings, altarpieces and devotional images were customarily crowned with gables and canopies supported by clustered column piers, echoing in small the architecture of Gothic churches. Painted edicules frame figures from sacred history in initial letters of illuminated manuscripts. Renaissance ediculi classicizing architectonic structure and decor alantica in the ancient Roman mode, became a fashionable way to frame a painted or bas-relief portrait, or protect an expensive and precious mirror during the High Renaissance. Italian precedents were imitated in France, then in Spain, England and Germany during the later 16th century. Post-Renaissance Classicism Edicula door surrounds that are architecturally treated, with pilasters or columns flanking the doorway and an entablature even with a pediment over it came into use with the 16th century. In the Neo-Palladian revival in Britain, architectonic edicula or tabernacle frames, carved and gilded, are favorite schemes for English Palladian mirror frames of the late 1720s through the 1740s by such designers as William Kent. Other edicula, similar small shrines, called Nyskoi, are found in Greek religion, but their use was strictly religious. Ediculi exist today in Roman cemeteries as a part of funeral architecture. Presently the most famous edicule is situated inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in City of Jerusalem. Contemporary American architect Charles Moore uses the concept of ediculi in his work to create spaces within spaces and to evoke the spiritual significance of the home.